Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. <coughs> Today we are going to discuss about research methodology and intelligent intellectual property rights, model 3. So far we discussed about model 1 and model 2. The model 3 speaks about our introduction to IPR, okay, or IP. So uh, the first, very first topic is uh, introduction to intellectual property. So what is intellectual property? Let me uh, give a brief introduction. So intellectual property is something that is like your own idea, okay. So here more than the work, the more uh, importance is given to the new thoughts or new ideas, okay, which is not at been, uh, not been you know, published elsewhere or uh, not uh, did any particular mechanism or a principle or a device, okay. So, intellectual property is something that uh, mind, it comes from, it originates from the mind. That's why it is called as intellectual property. Why it is called as property? Because the whatever the property you are going to get out of the, uh, this intellect or the mind or the brain or the thought, what you get as a new thought. So, it is coming from that particular intellect. That's why it is called as intellectual property. For example, when you uh, come up with a new thought of doing some new medicine, of preparing or producing some new medicine uh, for a particular disease which did not have any medicine, definitely that will be a huge breakthrough. That has come through your mind. Okay, That has come from the beginning of your intellection, how much intelligent you are there in that particular field. And along with definitely the experience, all that things matters. Okay, that is in terms of solid science and uh, biology I'm talking about. But for intellectual property, you don't have to have any scientific, uh, you know, what is it, knowledge or anything. For example, if you uh, you might have seen the straw, okay, what you drink use for uh, to drink uh, juice. So normal the same straw is there, no? So that was the earlier trend when everyone used to use the straight straw, okay. And until, until the one person who made a little bit bent structure on it. So that that uh, bent uh, kind of this thing, the straw started, you know, uh, can be bent. So that I can either use it in the upper direction so that I can have, I can just keep it like this and I can drink. I don't have to do... Uh, I don't have to lift the juice bottle or it can be the inverse where I want, can have all the you know uh, the juice which where the small drop of the juice should not be left. So both applications are here. So now what has been changed here? There is no scientifically any you know there is no much research involved in it. There is no much this it's all about just a mind. Just a thought, that a thought can bring you a property, that is intellectual property, understanding. So intellectual property is also, you can short form, we always address it as IP, okay, for rights, we are calling it as rights, so intellectual property rights. So it's a special category of a property, okay, which is definitely created by the human being or human intellect or you can say as a mind. In the fields of, it can be any field, it doesn't have to be in, always in science, it can be arts, it can be the literature or it can be the trade, etc. Anything, any area you take, if you are bringing something new, which was not earlier, uh, which was not existing earlier, then you can patent it in, under IPR, that is intellectual property rights. So since IP is a novel creation of the mind, so it is intangible. Or you can say it as invisible, or sorry, invisible and indivisible, okay, in the nature. Definitely, since the IP is uh, completely, it's about the cre creativity, it depends on the mind. So, it is intangible, you cannot see it, you cannot touch it, right? So, in the nature, and differs from the tangible properties such as land, house, gold, car, these all are tangible properties. But uh, when you speak about IP, it is intangible, you cannot feel or you cannot touch or it is invisible or indivisible. So that's why it is totally different from your other properties like gold, land, car and other proper la uh, properties, home and all. So IPR or you can call it as uh, intellectual property rights are the privileges which are accorded to the creator or inventor. If anybody has got 
any IP that is intellectual property, you need to save their rights that is called as IPR. So IPR what it does? The intellectual property rights, it will give that all privileges or all the credit whatever the particular person need to have in order to not you know uh, in order to save guard his property so ipr will make sure that the ip of a particular creator or inventor will be you know all the privileges given to only him and him or team okay in conformance with the different laws or because it is ipr rights so uh, they vary from country to country and border to border depending on the you know these things it will vary that's why so these rights are given to the creator usually who is the creator who actually bought that idea first okay he will be the creator or you can call it as an inventor in exchange for revealing this process of creation or invention in the public domain so these rights okay are given to that particular the creator or inventor why because he is ready to reveal his process but the rights will be his that means i will reveal whatever the uh, patent is mine whatever the ipr property is there or whatever if for example i have to design this particular device with the help of something new idea or new uh, technology or process now i am ready to make it as a public with the help of ipr so ipr will register this property is completely mine now anybody is copying this project or product or any idea then definitely i can file a case on them and the definitely the court will reimburse how much or the amount is uh, the inventor demands in most of the cases the inventor is conferred with the special rights to use sell distribute and also offering for sale and restricting the others from using the inventions without his prior permission so inventor is the boss here okay what and all he can have he can have all the special rights he can have the control over who can use my product and who can sell or should i only sell where others should not distribute my product even that option is there with him or he can also offer the sale and restriction from others okay if anybody does produce if anybody produce uh, for this particular product without help of my uh, with the without my permission then uh, it will have all authority to take action against those persons now the aforementioned uh, rights do not apply to the physical object so usually this particular uh, rights will not object for a particular physical object for example book or a computer or a mobile phone in which the creation may be embodied but attributed to the intellectual creativity so broadly ip comprises of the two branches here that is copyrights and related rights and industrial property rights so you have two things copyrights and industrial copyright property rights so whereas is uh, copyrights and related rights we usually uh, are for uh, for example imagine a person writes a book or a novel then he, all copyrights is belong to him and the publishers okay or maybe uh, a movie uh, is releasing and uh, imagine there are 10 songs in that particular movie in indian per se whereas in abroad it is like album in album particular 10 or 15 or 20 songs are there then all the copyrights regarding those particular music books or any kind of intellectual property belongs to them and them only and even sometimes publishers along with the publisher also copyrights will be there okay so the same thing is explained here it can be the literature arts or it can be the books publications architectures music wood or stone carvings even pictures portraits sculptures films and computerized softwares and databases these all things comes under the copyrights and related rights next we are having industrial property rights whereas the industrial property rights refer to the patents trademarks okay whereas trade services also comes into picture industrial designs how exactly the industrial plant has to be there and then geographical indications these all things comes under industry industrial property rights do not get confused intellectual property right is different industrial property right is different <coughs> now the selling feature of the all of the above mentioned categories are discussed in the ensuring chapter 
So that's it about the introduction about the intellectual property. So intellectual property is very simple to understand. If imagine you are sitting and you are getting some idea, okay, and that idea has not gotten anyone to do anything new in this particular world, then definitely you can have the patent on it. So you will have the IPR rights with you. You can come up with any new ideas. Okay. Usually the developing countries, even the high school kids will have many patents. Okay. So that's how it works. Okay. That was about the introduction to the intellectual property. Next class we will discuss about uh, the role of IP in the economic and cultural development of society. How exactly this IP has helped to develop the economy and the cultural development in the country.